In the wake of the European debt crisis, structural reforms and austerity measures across the continent have not spared public broadcasters. We've seen broadcasters affected by cuts in Greece, France, Spain and the UK. But in Italy, the reform of the public broadcaster Rai is not just about money, it is first and foremost about politics. With almost 2,000 journalists, 11 newsrooms, sister channels competing against one another when cooperating would save money, no one in Italy would argue that Rai is perfect and doesn't require some kind of reform. A bill that would modernize the network's structure and its spending has been put before Parliament. Prime Minister Matteo Renzi says he wants to free Rai from the interference of the political parties that have controlled the broadcaster for decades. But the opposition is beyond skeptical and sees a government mouthpiece in the making. The Listening Post's Paolo Ganino now from Rome on the broadcaster Italians call Mama Rai and the plans to reform it. Renzi al G20 in Australia, Italia farà le riforme ma Europa can... When Italians saw these images from the 2014 G20 summit in Australia, the pictures told a story, not about Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, but about the public broadcaster, Rai. Count the microphones, you'd expect one to belong to Rai. It's not one, not two, not three, but five. Five news teams for one story. The bill, 60,000 euros. At a time of austerity, this was an issue. Especially in a country where one in four households avoids paying its share of the state broadcaster funding, the TV license fee. Half of Rai budget comes from a license fee, which is effectively a tax levied on people to allow them to watch TV, not just Rai. Secondly, ad revenue. We're in crisis, so there's not enough advertising around, and some cost-cutting is in order. And right now, people have a terrible opinion of the Rai license fee. It is widely reviled, also because of the populist marketing used by commercial broadcasters. There's such an utter disconnect between the people and the state, and this is linked to a general view that news reporting is never really going to be objective. There's something quite particular about Rai, it's unique for a state television network anywhere in the world. Different channels there have been assigned to a particular political faction. Rai 1 for the government, Rai 2 socialist, Rai 3 for the opposition. The idea was to guarantee balanced political representation in broadcasting by giving everyone a space. Perhaps this arrangement was appropriate in the 1970s and 80s, but now it's a totally outphased conception. This situation is really remarkable, and to the eyes of non-Italians, probably absurd. According to the bill proposed by the government, Rai would remain under the control of parliament, but the board of directors would be slimmed down and lose most of its powers to a CEO appointed by the government itself. The network's key channels would remain, shedding their traditional associations with certain political parties. The reform of the newsrooms proposed by Rai itself would reshuffle news output and production, merging the existing newsrooms and avoiding unnecessary duplication and waste. The reform proposes two integrated newsrooms. Eventually, the aim is to have a single newsroom. This is an extremely significant cultural shift that Rai must not be afraid to undertake. The outcome of this process should be that the journalists and newscasts will produce objective and balanced reporting above all else. This is a duty that is even more sacred as we're speaking about a public institution here. Creating a single newsroom is a logical move. After all, by its own nature, pluralism should be part and parcel of any truly balanced, objective news production. It's the prerogative of any independent news reporting agency. As a news broadcaster, it is precisely my personal freedom from political influence that will ensure my output is free from that influence. I know that for you, for people who don't live in Italy, all this must seem somewhat surreal. But it is simple. Everything stems from history. In Italy, it became clear that there was no such thing as objectivity, no such thing as truth. For us, there is only critical analysis. There can only ever be viewpoints, interpretations. Una interpretazione. If the plan to reshape Rai fails, the alternative could be privatization, 
a scenario that might leave Italian broadcasting in the hands of a few moguls. And those Italias now are already quite controversial. Silvio Berlusconi owns Rai's major competitor, Mediaset, and its three main national free-to-air channels. He served three terms as prime minister and has often been accused of manipulating the media to his own advantage. The growing player in the TV market? Rupert Murdoch's Sky, which broadcasts mainly on satellite but is trying to enter the free-to-air market. I don't think we're going to see the privatization that was predicted a few years back. There have been rumors of an alternative option which involves the sell-off of specific parts of the state broadcaster, but the news division will remain public. Privatization may be a viable option for the more marginal parts of the service, but we can't sell off the heart, the very essence of our national public television. I'm not a defender of Rai remaining a publicly funded broadcaster at all costs. I would not be upset if, say, two of the network's channels were sold off. I really think the crux of the matter in Italy is not the size of the state broadcaster, but rather the level of market competitiveness. So let the Rupert Murdochs and new publishers come and shake things up. Let's make that happen properly with proper regulation. As far as Rai goes, I would just be happy to see it revert to its roots of innovation. Italians call Rai the mirror of the nation. There is no other media institution in this country like it. According to the Prime Minister, the reform aims to free Rai from the interference of the political parties. But some see reform as a big risk. Under the existing rules, there is at least some plurality of views within this building that make it onto the airwaves. Changing those rules, they argue, may well leave Rai in the hands of this government or the next to do with it as it pleases. All state televisions worldwide are ultimately linked to some degree to their governments, by definition. They're public institutions, and as a result, the government will always meddle to some extent. I think the real question is, what are the selection criteria being applied when recruiting management? In my opinion, there should be a bill, some kind of roadmap that would define the way in which senior management is recruited at Rai and in the public sector in general. We could, as Prime Minister Renzi would like, hand over the management of Rai to a government-appointed CEO who would have overall power and would run the company as a private business. But who would this CEO be? What sort of qualifications would this person need in order to fulfill such a role? That's where the real issue lies. In terms of giving Rai over to the care of a truly qualified professional or keeping it under the influence of the government. I can tell you this much. Things are going to be lively in Italy this summer. Broadcast media have become essentially the spoils of the free market wars. They have enormous value, not only in terms of revenue, but as instruments of propaganda as purveyors of lifestyle and cultural capital. So in this context, Italy is undergoing a new beginning, establishing new foundations. The reforms could bring Rai closer to its original mission, serving the public, focusing on objective reporting, quality production and cost efficiency to regain the trust of Italians. But implementing these reforms is not going to be easy. With the government, the political parties and the competition all ready to have their say on the future of Italy's state broadcaster. More voices on the download now on the future of Rai on the Italian airwaves. Uh, this piece of legislation does fail to address what are still the, uh, the key concerns and the key uh, issues of the Italian public broadcasting system. Namely, the fact that uh, in a different way, in a slightly different way, the executive power does still retain the control uh, of the Rai. Tra brutta abitudine per lo più italiano, ovvero di lottizzazione della cosa pubblica da parte del sistema partitico, che ha portato, oltre a un'inefficienza gestionale con una moltiplicazione dei costi, anche a una mancanza di oggettività da parte dell'informazione, che se non proprio forviante, spesso disorientante per il singolo cittadino.